The next presenting company will be InventMedic and with us we have CEO Anna Lindström. Welcome Anna. Thank you Olivia. The floor is yours. Thank you. And welcome all to 50 minutes about women's health. My name is Anna Lindström and I am the newly appointed CEO for InventMedic. Today I will talk about this that women should be able to have an active life without the fear uh, and risk of uh, leakage of urine. And that should be if you're at the gym, if you are out running, or even in normal situations, everyday situations, where you are late for the bus and need to go for a run, or just sneezing. So it is as many as one out of five women that have this problem with stress incontinence. And now you might think that it is elderly women, but it is actually that the first symptoms starts when, not always, but often, when you get give birth to your first child. And that's quite early in life. Uh, some of these women are entitled to get an operation for when they have very difficult symptoms, but many are not. For example, in Sweden, it's only 5,000 women yearly that get the operation. Ephemia bladder support are focusing on these women, the huge number of women that needs to find an alternative solution. And our product is a very good product and a very secure product because it is based on the same scientific principles as the modern surgery. And it is also safe in the sense that the product is well documented. The effect of the product is documented to have a reducing effect of urine leakage. We have that in clinical studies, we have that in quality of life studies, and we have that in focus group studies. And the focus group studies, you can see that we have been targeting active women doing sports activities. And the conclusion for this is that the product is very needed on the market and it is received very well with the focus groups. So, we have been one and a half year out on the major sales channels and we have learned a lot from this. We have learned about the, the market's behavior and uh, the conditions on the market. And we now need to focus. We will focus our resources on, to, on our distributors and for them to reach our customers. And we will focus to get the product knowledge out to directly to the customers. Our key countries are the Nordics, UK and Germany. And already in these countries, 11 million women are coping with this problem today. We know that half of these women are using pads and they will continue to do so. Instead, we are focusing on the other half. Those, some of them, half of them, will seek help through the med me medical care system. And the other half will seek an alternative solution by themselves. Here, we have a group that is also seeking information on internet. All of these are googling around on their mobile phone to see what they can find as a solution for them. We, we will target 2% in this group. That is our goal for the next two years. And 2% can sound like a low number, but for us, it means a revenue over 30 million Swedish krona, and that is a significant growth compared to 2020. So how are we doing in these two segments uh, today? Well, we have the healthcare segment where we have mainly focused our 
activities and we have the direct sales activities. If we look at healthcare, for example, almost half of the revenue of the company comes from two markets, and that is Sweden and Norway. If we add on the direct sales, we see that ma mainly the focus has been in Sweden through pharmacies, their web shops, and our own web shop, fmia.se. If we add these together, we see that the they contribute 70% or over at 70% actually to the total revenue of the company. If we instead look at how well are we on the market, what market share do we have among the target women, we can see that Norway is sticking out. They have 1.5% market share. And now remember that I said our goal was to have 2%, so they are very close. And they have also only focused on the healthcare activities. So the 2% is a very reachable goal. So what actions will we do? Well, back to healthcare sector. We hope now that we are over the pandem pandemic and that we can focus on being out to meet the professionals and them to actually have time for us and listen to the product. We also know that there is an enormous care depth and that we will utilize to be out there to talk about our product. We will focus as well on private care providers because they have shorter decision routes and we will then come um, faster out in the market. Then we have the good example with the distributor in Norway and we will lift out the good things they have done and use that and teach and support our distributors on the German and UK market. So we are learning by example. We will also and are doing adding additional partners to German and UK and we will use uh, what we know to find the right uh, partners here that have a similar profile as the one in Norway. Then going to direct sales, there we will have uh, quite a heavy focus as well because we, see, we have seen that many are seeking information on internet. Well, the most important here is the first part of the customer journey, and that is awareness. And just to underline how important awareness is, I will give you an example about a successful cooperation we have with a micro-influencer with 15,000 followers. When she posted her first post, we saw directly the increase in our web shop. It was amazing. And that you can see in the graph here as well. The May number is really sticking out. And that's the reason. So we will continue to have good collaborations with influencers. We are also opening a new web shop and that is for the German market. Uh, and we will use the platform Amazon for that web shop because we have seen and we know that more than 50% of all the internet sales in Germany is through Amazon and we want to be there as well. At the same time, we will do local promotions at sports clubs and sports event events and we have also good reference there that this is a good contribution to the sales. And we are also working now with artificial intelligence for our Google Ads. And the best part about this is that it's working 24 seven for us to get out the right answers or the right message to our customers. That is not enough. We are now also adding another product to our product line. 
we are adding the ephemia menstrual cup and that we will do by the end of the year. We have done our own market research and even if there are other cups on the market, we see that women still are searching for the perfect one and that one should be of course leakage free, it should be smooth and it should be flexible. Therefore we have developed a, our own cup and we will put that on the market that is the softest and lightest cup on the market. And of course it is secure. We have also used our expertise because this product fits very well in our product line since we know how to design, develop and produce in silicon material. So if we look at the market, it is a growing market. And just looking at Sweden, menstrual cup already have 20% of the market as such. It's an accessible market we are going into and it is growing. And it's growing because younger women are looking for alternatives that are sustainable. And you know, it's with the younger generation, we get the new customers. So to conclude, we have a very promising year ahead. We have a clear strategy towards two customer segments and we are focusing on key countries where we have activities, many planned activities that will give the sales we need to the company. And on top, we have launched, or we launched rather, a new product. So we will have two products on the market. So I hope you understand that we have now in Invent Medic a very interesting year and years ahead of us, and that we have big growth possibilities and that now is an excellent opportunity to invest our, in our company. We will have a rights issue that will start from the 22nd of October and you will find the memorandum about this on our web page. If you have any question about this or about the presentation, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for listening. Thank you for an interesting presentation. Um, you were recently named as CEO of Invent Medic. So uh, can you tell us a bit more about your background? Well, my professional, main professional background is within sales and marketing. And I have been fortunate to have had a challenging, um, but also fun position in this field. Um, mainly what I worked with in this field is also to get products out of the market, to go into new market, to get strategies and realize strategies for new products and new markets. I, I got a very good basement in um, when I worked for Alfa Laval, uh, where I both worked in Sweden and also internationally. And uh, how do you view the company's uh, potential? Oh, the next year and years are very interesting for the company. Um, as I said in the presentation, the last one and a half years, we have learned so much about the market and the market behavior. And now having focus on two segments, both medical care and then direct sales will give, will give us good opportunities to reach the customers because mainly it is awareness of the product. The product is needed on the market and it is well received for those who knows about it. And you're now carrying out a share issue. Uh, how will the capital be used? The capital we use to increase our sales. That's the main focus. To use the focus countries or the key countries to get our message out and also to to you, you work with the two segments that we have.
identified as such. So the capital will be used to, for the women so they know about the product and so they can use the product and live the active life that they want without thinking about urine leakage. Sounds good and uh, thank you for coming here today Anna. Thank you Olivia.